Oi, oi, Savaloi. It is time for the pistol on Nuke. Hunden, defuse kit, smoke grenade, everyone else, Kevlar. Preparation looking to go outside despite the range disadvantage. The numbers game is to their advantage, or is it? We will find out. It's sitting outside. It's nice, nice out. Despite the smoke. But I'll soon whisk away. I can even he hear the ambience, like the windy ambience. Interesting. I've never noticed that before. Ooh, nice pop there from Maeve. Nico as well getting in on the action. The push through main has been crushed. <laughs> it's been crushed. That was not successful. That was that was quite the opposite. That was a <coughs> massive failure. It was a failure. It was a failure. Well, it's a good start for Tricked. Remind me who picked this map, please. It was Tricked. Tricked picked this map. Ooh, so perhaps they are in potentially a good spot, although preparation didn't veto Nuke, so uh, maybe they have something up their sleeves. Or maybe they they have so many other problems on other maps that, <laughs> that they had to leave maybe something that's in too. there. <laughs> maybe their leave is like Sleeve of Wizard, Dan, and they will have uh, many tricks up the sleeve. Why do you always complain whenever I do something like that? You, you're doing it all the time. What? Making stupid puns. <laughs> like, oh, stop, it's too early for this. My name's James. My you're puns not, are next not level. not allowed to have fun. My puns are next level. Ten minutes later, I'm going to do it myself now. Double standards. My name's James. Double standards, James. I want to find something for you. You commentate, and I'm going <laughs> to open your mind to something. I, 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 I really don't. I'm not sure about this, but okay. Wow, this is another complete failure here from preparation. Unable to do anything at all. Getting into some positions, but Trick this time better at adapting to uh, the T movement. And that's actually a really big part of Nuke, is you can give away a lot of space. It's completely fine to give up ramp, so long as your players or you know are, are repositioning correctly. That is a really, really big deal on this map, which is actually a really fun, fun thing, because it's... It's a dynamic that is very different to a lot of other maps because on this map, you're able to actually be in a 4 on 4 as a CT and it's not as as big as a disadvantage as other maps because of the rotation, how the rotation works. The extreme opposite example would be probably Season, but we don't have Season in the map, thank God. Thank Ooh. God. Look at well, the damage coming in. Yeah, but East Attack is running out of uh, ammunition. And he will require support. Yugi doing his best, doing what he can. And what he can is not going to be good enough against the auto shotgun. Bosh. Bish bash bosh. Oh my gosh, it's Oshkosh Bagosh. Is that a thing? It is, yes. Ah, There's a shop that. called Oshkosh Bagosh. And their know. slogan is, oh my gosh, it's Oshkosh Bagosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oshkosh Bagosh, really? Yeah. What do they sell? I don't know. I think women's clothing. Ah, I'm not sure. I think I knew a guy who worked there. Or we something. should investigate. Oh well, you can. Three zero. Both teams on the buy. Lack of grenades on preparation. Their preparation is limited due to the lack of grenades. Failing to prepare is preparing to fail, Dan. That's what my boss used to tell me when I worked in commercial real estate. Dead now, of course. Yes, he had uh, many sayings and other things of interest. <laughs> Where is he now? Still there. Still there. But I have since gone. I'm a shadow of the night. I'm a nightmare. I'm a dancer in the dark. Moving forward into A are the T's. The smoke is going to be their demise. Nice meter grade coming in, but the bomb is down. And then go to the white peak, but Jumka is ready and waiting. He's prepared. When will this end? Jimka trying to end the rounds, but I don't know about his chances here. Eight points of health. It's a tough one. It's a toughie. He's got the bomb though, and he actually can plant. Thing is, is that he has no idea that he can actually plant. No idea at all. Ooh, interesting. I mean, this is so free, this plant right now. Of course, he, again, it's so hard for him to know that. He's just got to go for it, but he'll be pleasantly surprised if he does go for it, because it's just it will just go down without issue. Although, since 
we have actually, uh, I think, Yugi pulling out the pistol, and he's closer to the ladder now on heaven. But look at this, uh, Jimka. I mean, you have 10 seconds to plant the bomb. All right, there we go. Finally, the bomb gets planted. And he's pleasantly surprised, James. He's like, that was free. That was free. Yeah, I thought if for some reason he was going on for the uh, for the high plants. All oh, the timing is real. Does he go through the window? That would be epic, but it does, it does make a sound cue. So he's tags clearing the sights, and they realize he must be... Oh, no! Oh, it's gone the right way! So he's able to run around it. He's a non-believer. He knows it's a fake, and now they're running out of time. The flashbang comes in, the smoke comes in. Surely a teammate's holding the angle. He's going to go for it. Oh, no! He's attack is going to take him down. The CTs should win that, but kind of, the longer it goes on, you kind of root for Jumka in that situation. The Molotov, if it goes to the left, Jumka's dead. It goes to the right. Opportunity opens up, and then it's taken away by Trix. That was interesting. Interesting. Interessant. Okay, so we've got the... Well, I mean, this failed very heavily previously, but at least this time with the Tech nice, there is actually some smokes to work off of. It'll be quite cool to see an up, up sights, up a upper sight. There we go. <laughs> the up sight. English is hard. Englander, uh, Englando is hard. Englando. Say, trade difficile. Hunden is uh, ready to get the frags here. Nice little wall of smokes. I don't think I've seen it done quite like this before. I have to say. I have. I mean that that I feel like. We is there an advantage doing it that way that there is, like, that I saw don't that, get... I saw that against FaZe, but the problem is uh, the CTs can play close to that, and also yeah. it makes you very susceptible to being spammed by grenades. It, it, it pins your position down more, and it's less obscure for the CTs. I don't see the advantage as the, the normal setup, but never mind. They do manage to find their way around, but just as last time, they don't get a bomb plant, they don't get a single kill. So these rounds are, are a bit too free here for Trick. It is quite difficult, I must say, but... Going back to the smokes outside, um, <coughs> if you try to wall off between main and garage, really you need three smokes to do it. Um, I think you need three smokes even for that one, because you need one at the beginning of T red. And yes, the problem is there's no threat of, of the T's pop flashing through, going into main, yeah, etc. And it makes them more vulnerable, in my opinion. I think there's, there are hard counters to that kind of smoke. Execution. You can have pop flashes going through the smoke. There's no gauntlet run for the CTs. You let them get close fast. They can hear you running as well. You can stand in the smoke, have a teammate pop flash, check if there's anyone on your six, and then just go for instant flanks. You can Molotov, and they basically can't do anything. There's so, so many problems. Anyway, 5 0, preparation back on the bye. We've got players outside. Hunden is also outside with an off angle. So I think Yugi is going to be covering the cross into secret from his position. And indeed, he's doing exactly that. So, tricks are prepared. They're ready and waiting. So, Patron is going for the straight up peek against Yugi. Oh, wow. Okay, that is a shot you don't want to miss. I feel like Yugi was kind of offering himself up there mm. uh, in a peeking into a spot where he knows an AWP is holding the angle. That is very dangerous. And I feel like Yugi should be dead. But he's not dead. Yeah, he should. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> that, that's Dang gonna fire. be on Reddit soon. Definitely hacking, of course. Patron moving forward. That's a nice kill on Nico into main. Four versus three. Tricks are a man down at the moment. Make it two. Hunden gets taken down towards main as well. Desperately trying to make his way back into a bomb site, but it's not gonna work. And it seems that Petra, uh, Preparation might get their first round on the board. East attack holding uh, awkward angle, but his entire team are dead. He's like uh, Rambo in one of those Rambo films. I'm sure everyone's dead in those Rambo films. He's in the jungle on his own. Doesn't know the war is over. Wondering what's going on. Isn't it crazy when you see those, like, I think a few years ago there was a Japanese man who was found living in the jungle who oh, didn't yeah. know that the world war was over. Yeah, yeah. Still just like serving his country deep in the jungle 40 years later or 50 years later or whatever. Crazy. Well, there's loads of money to go to for Trix, so that's really nice for them. Um, I, it does worry me this this Yugi business outside. Just straight challenging Patron like multiple times there in, in unfavorable spots where he's already hold, holding the angle. We'll just have to see how that plays out in these future rounds. 
El Patron. He's only got a Tech 9 this time. And preparation. Have to wait out these pre nades from Tricked. And it's, uh, it's always a bit annoying on this map. Oh, wow. Wow. Could he. S I was there. Did he? <laughs> <laughs> who, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> who knows? Worth taking a pot shot, though. Yes. And again, we spoke about the problems of, of that, uh, that situation. And that's another one, is that you've got the, the bigger wall of smokes, and there's so many places to try and shoot, but not so if you have that small wall there. Anyway, ramp has been taken, and taken back by Yugi. The 5-7 is perfect, his base crack is the first one to come out, and he's heavily tagged. Bomb spotted as well, lots of information for tricks. Yugi repositioning, he's jumping all over the place, he's having fun, having a field day. He's in the field having a day. Patron coming down, can't do anything. Both remaining players' preparation wiped out. Economy lost bonus has been reset. Nothing going their way. All the toys are broken. The milk's gone bad. There's no bread or anything in the fridge. Or that you put bread in the fridge? Well, like quin quinoa. I don't know what you do with quinoa. Is there any quinoa? No, there's no nothing. Not even quinoa. God. quinoa. All, there, all there is is cake mix, but no flour. Maeve trying to hold down. Oh, he's going to get dinked, but he's doing great work. Two man spray down for him. Nico stealing the one in between. He will fall. They will name a street in him after him. Not in him. Jim <laughs> last man standing on this eco round. And uh, he has a lot of work to do. Would be nice if he can do some damage for his side, but uh, it looks unlikely at the moment. I do respect how he hasn't given up on the round. If this was happy, for example, he would just be running to his death. I like how on the wall they have those motion sensors. So the light turns on oh, when really? someone's in the area. That's mad that. cheap, yo. Like on the left here. See it? Motion sensor. That's lame. <laughs> those are the worst offices. No light switches, just motion sensors. When you walk around here, we will turn the lights on because we I, like I actually, saving I money. Hate, I hate those motion sensors so much. They are the worst. Especially because we used to do like uh, we used to do those broadcasts in this office. Like the original face, face it, uh league and that office, we would be doing the NA casts until like four or five in the morning, and you'd just be in this like sickly light, and you can't do anything about it. You can't, you can't, you can't turn oh, it off. Oh, we had it there, didn't we? Yeah, we couldn't turn it off. The only way to turn it off was, was to cover the sensor, which we did in the. We had to do that in the, oh, in the room with yeah. the studio. Yeah, we had to tape the sensor so we, we could use our own lights, our studio lights. But we never taped the sensor in the rest of the building, so it was always we were just like in this horrible light. Yeah. It, it just made me feel Ill, Ill all the time. That's great. I feel a drain in that office. Into the kitchen and uh, almost destroyed everything. So we've got preparation back on the bite. One to seven. Five AKs, a few grenades here and there. Flashbang smokes. It's looking very good for tricks at the moment. And maybe preparation won't really have much of a CT side to offer if this momentum continues for the Danish team. Yeah, it's pretty tough at the moment for them. Nice positioning, but again, you know, Trick is showing better rotation, dealing with the or playing it to adjust to how the T's are moving around the map. That is the name of the game with Nuke CT side. You just have to, you can give up space. You just have to rotate around it. You can, you have a lot of ability to do so. And as far as the positioning right now for preparation, we have quite a few players outside, but slowly they diminish. Look at this position for Yugi. That's, that's insane. Yeah. Preparation of getting wrecked, man. It's as simple as that. They're getting wrecked from everywhere. There's so many rounds where they haven't lost it, lost anyone. I, I think there's at least like four or five rounds where Tricked have not lost a single player. There's still two players on prep with no kills. Wow. So now I want to know what they vetoed. Right. We so are in so round <laughs> 10 and two players have no kills. Yugi is having the time of his life on this map. They got no kills, man. Do you remember the the original you did in 1.6? You got to a stage where you couldn't move anywhere without being wallbanged <coughs> because you could wallbang everything. So like pretty much anywhere on the map, you just you just like, get wallbanged. 
So if you played people that either cheated or like, you couldn't even tell if someone was cheating or not in, in 1.6 because you would just get wall banged by amazing players as well as cheaters. I remember so the highlight like, videos and most of the kills just through walls. Yeah, yeah, just every single like the the the, the ramp one is always fun like from lobby into in towards ramp or vice versa. That that one for example, or just the fact that you can wall bang anything on the roof into the upper bomb site. It's just ridiculous. You can wall bang this, the, the floor. <laughs> you can wall bang the floor, mate. <laughs> down, in, down into the lower site, and in, and and vice versa. It's just everything. Everything goes. 1.6 nuke. Every, anything goes. So we're about to see double O eleven. We're about to see double double O eleven. Ten. This is round ten, not round eleven. But we're moving into round eleven, which threw me off. But we're about to see double O ten twice, or we have seen it. Arch, please put us out of our misery. He is not going to do so. A kill has been made. So Arch will try to hold on to this onto this weapon. Can we find out what they veto, please? Produce a on the case. He's made two kills. Oh, he's picked up an orb as well. Well, his patience paid off. So you, you use magic. He got orb. two kills, man. He's like, I'm not leaving this round. Trainer cash pre vetoed by preparation. That's two mirage vetoed by trick. So trainer cash. Nuke was the better option for them of those three maps. At least that is a suggestion. Or maybe they were gambling on it not being picked by tricked. If that was what they were gambling, then they bet the house and lost. Yeah, you gotta be careful about that with Swedish and Danish teams, I think. As Rampage Jackson says, Dan, always bet on black. <clears throat> All right. So, preparation once again, they're looking to go outside and make some openings. They do have also ready room. I mean, it's pretty, pretty. Uh, default setup. A lot of teams will, from this position, wall the smokes outside because just to get close to the positions or some of the cover where you can see Hunden is, and then that allows you to start building a play down to hell and heaven. But again, oh. they keep going for this smoke, and there are gaps all the time to allow the CTs to see exactly where they are going to be in the smoke. This is highly suboptimal. Yeah. This is incredibly suboptimal. So, I mean, it shows that preparation have some strats on the map because they have that wall of smoke but well it, it's it, the, it has gaps mate there yeah, are gaps. yeah i i think uh <laughs> I, I think one issue is on nuke at the moment is that people don't know how good their strats are until they play a game until they play a team with significantly superior strats and they're like oh, okay this is where this is where we are currently that's maybe what preparation are currently finding Damn. out Arch taken down towards the ramp, and again, we've got two players here for preparation. Make that one, you big taken down. That's the bomb as well, 16 seconds. So there's no choice for face crack other than to push in this situation and try to get the bomb down. There's a smoke in the middle of the site. That red line is where he can plant the bomb. He's going for it, but he's chosen to go next to the smoke. And Hunden will put him out of his misery. You big still hasn't got a single kill. And we are into round 12. No one has more than five kills on the uh, T side. You get up there with 18, doing great work outside and inside towards the ramp. So preparation, gonna go, gonna go for the force buy. In this situation, don't have any fast plays, any fast stratego. Molotov towards hut. Jim has lined up his uh, his flashbang. However. Oh, it's a smoke, in fact. So they're gonna, maybe going to try and pop flash through the smoke. That's pretty cool. Yugi is getting into position. From that uh, that box to the right, that kind of grey-blue box, uh, a CT can bounce grenades into the uh, this area. <laughs> I, don't, I, uh, don't, okay. I don't know. All right. Why not take a shot? Why not? Five versus four. Five versus three. Five versus... Okay, everyone else is still alive. Ubik is waiting for a chance to kill someone. It's 
It's all on your beak. With oh. zero kills. Until now, I've never noticed that there is this like ambience there we wind, go. wind blowing on this map. Have you? No. Until do you hear it? You do hear yeah, it. Right? Yeah, yeah. So I wonder if there'll be a day when Valve add environmental effects to the game, where it's like there is wind. Wind may, means that smoke slowly starts drifting to the direction of the wind, or something like that. Or it is rainy. There is a chance that you might slip and fall. Or your gun will jam. <laughs> you can imagine I just, how, I just how remember a custom map in 1.6. I forget which one it is, but there was a button you could press, which would basically kill everyone in a room. Nice. But it was like a it was a it wasn't a professional oh. level map, but it was it was like in a in a silo or somewhere. There was in in Half Life Deathmatch, there was a lambda bunker where you had to, you you press a nuke button and you have to get in the bunker and then the doors slowly lock, and if you have to make it in there in time, otherwise everybody in the map dies. Apart from any, anyone who's in the bunker, which is awesome. Hmm. The Lambda bunker. Uh, well, fast push outside. No smokes. They've given up on the smokes. It's like, let's just run. Run and, and frag. But still, it's not working. Nothing seems to work. The only thing that seems to work is losing. So I guess... It's working very well. <laughs> and shooting through smokes. <laughs> yeah. It's working well as well. Yeah. I think most of Yugi's kills, I feel like they're warbanks. Almost all of them. I like it's you know penetration kills of some kind. Yeah, a lot have been uh, through the rail on ramp. Yeah, but uh, it's always fun to one shot someone through a smoke. I'm sure there'll be threads already. Somebody got shot through a smoke. He must be hacking. It's the only answer. Ubik looking to uh, I think double his kills in this situation. He's really far behind his teammates. Well, not, not really well, far go. behind because they got like five kills there. Yeah, so. he's done it. He's equalized with most of his team. Boom. Three. Three, 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 three. Yeah, he's up there. I mean, it is, we, don't, we don't even need to rail on five. him because the whole team yeah. are clearly not as prepared as they thought they were, Dan. So there's no point focusing on one player. Oh, he hasn't got any kills. Like, whatever. I mean, they're not, they're not having a good time as an entire team. So... It's just fun. We have to focus on something. I mean, it's 12-1, right? It's 12-1! What did they remove the truck that you could hide in? To stop people and from being morons. I loved sitting in there with a negative. The problem is you can't. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's because of you, Dan. <laughs> it's because of me. I was, I was the problem. Like, Rooney was the problem. Yeah. It's interesting that... Uh, like Rooney was the prob you problem. You see they made holes in the door. But now there's like some kind of three-dimensional effect which obscures the vision. Like if the CT yeah. shoots oh. a hole in the door, then it pushes oh. in towards the T spawn area. Well, look at this then. Yugi taking another player down. Over the that, smoke. That smoke. That that smoke is really bad, man. These smokes are terrible. <laughs> They're so terrible. Yeah. They're I mean, really terrible. Like. In, in that sense, you're going to be more exposed Please with the normal them. wall of smokes. Um, if unless you have that smoke on the balcony as well that people put up. Yeah, but, but the thing is, that's such an investment. That's four smokes. Yeah. Well, you can still play close. I mean, you can you still uh, use three smokes on the normal setup, but you can just play. You can play closer to the smokes if you want. Yeah. So you have more cover. But there, but there, you have no choice. There is no depth. You're either directly behind the smoke or nowhere because you got your back against the wall. But that said, you peek with a couple and maybe preparation with a chance to win a round finally. So bomb has been planted. The door has been opened. I wonder if that was actually heard. I don't think it would be, no, I don't think it would have been heard by anybody. I thought there, there was are two downstairs. doors down there though. There are three doors down there, so there's oh, yeah. no doesn't really tell you what door is being opened or closed. All the doors. Nice angle for face crack. Good to see he's still with Tatsu. Still relationship going strong. Yeah. Always been face crack hot to oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, just nothing going their way. I thought they had that round. I thought they were golden. Dude got shot through the door. Is that like coolant liquids in the... Maybe, maybe below it's scuba the diving equipment. No, but the, the, like the, the blue blue liquid below... Oh, the below the glass. glass. Yeah, because there's glass and there's blue liquid. <sighs> Is it blue though? And there's like, gri there's like a metal grid. It'd be great if you could just fall in. That'd be amazing. I like... Um, planting against the edge of that so people have to face the wall if they're defusing but yeah, it has its really own risk it's an, it's an exposed start and an exposed diffuse so you know go that, that's a really right. good thing that's overlooked actually like the direction that you have to diffuse yeah uh that's a big deal on overpass on a site that's a really really big deal for the toilets plant 
people opt for safety, it seems, over... In terms of the plant, it's over exposure for the diffuser. Yeah. Is there a diffusee? No. Man advantage for Tricked in the last round of the first half. It is 13 to 1 at the moment. Preparation looking to double their score. They're looking for a 100% increase in their success in this round. And uh, perhaps they can do it. Perhaps not. No, Yugi's alive, man. He's, he's, he's not... He's not really in the mood to, to be losing rounds right now. Y Yugi is everywhere you don't want him to be. If your team Look at is him go. preparation. He's, he's got this. Oh, stolen. I wish I wish his tag would have died there. So that Yugi could have could have been the, the guy with the glory. He deserves the glory. Give him the glory. In some ways, I mean, do you do you remember when Overpass first came out? Yeah. And we used to get lots of 12 3 halves. Yeah. I do wonder if uh Nuke is the new overpass in that respect. Uh, I don't think so. I I think, I mean, I haven't seen loads of super CT sided nukes. I don't think we've really seen a lot of proper competition on nuke yet, to be honest. I would agree with that. So I think it's hard to say because at least overpass was getting played a lot because the major was coming up. So you actually saw a lot of competitive matches there because a lot of teams knew that they had to shore it up. But right now, it's the same with cash. Uh, I mean, cash probably would be a good example. I mean, Cash was like a 10-5 CT to T uh, map, and then people realized, started to understand how to play the T side properly, because there's a lot of options on that map. I think there are a lot of options for the Ts on this map, a lot, a lot more than there used to be, especially with that outer catwalk for the that the Ts can use to run all the way along. That's interesting. I have to see how it goes, though. I'm still, I, I think I, st I still like Cash more. I'm still like a Cash fan, as are you. It is my favorite map. Is there salvation? <laughs> there was potential for Facebook to do a lot more there. I don't <laughs> love a how he's just more. standing there. Brilliant. Oh, that's awkward. He's done good work there as face crack. Three versus three. Bomb planted for trick. Two people by the door. Oh, look at those vests on the wall. Man advantage for the CT side now, but it's easy to get the bomb from the They have a kit and they have a man advantage. Hunden, the last man standing. Hunden! Can he do it? Charging through the door. Two players to find, and he will be taken out wildly, violent, brutal fashion by Ubik. Unrelenting, unforgiving, unbinding, unblinding. Tech nines, come on, let's do it. Just don't, don't do the save, then get the AKs. Just, just be, be interesting. Oh, they're going for the play that makes sense. That's sad. And waiting for those AKs on the next round will be very interesting, actually, how to see how they use those. I do really enjoy those uh, fast contact rounds. And when the T's get the uh, third round AK by, I think those are really nice. But uh, especially on an app like this, because getting picks, like preparation like, on the next round should not really allow Tricked to pick them with their AKs on the big ranges because they have worse weapons. They should not put themselves in those spots. So, you want to try to play into a site in a coordinated, fast way. And I'm curious to see if that's what Trick go for, if they or if Trick will just. Because the thing as well is that preparation might make that error. They might try to play uh, a pick based style against a bunch of AKs. That said, the AWP is out for Patron. I, don't th I, don't, I actually didn't think that he'd be able to afford an AWP, but he is able to. So, maybe that's a little bit different then. Let's see what tricks have in mind. No mollies for the T side. Lots of smokes and lots of flashes. And they're looking for a fast play. No messing around. Base crack in no man's land, completely blind and unable to deal. That's a fast smoke. Look at that. They didn't even need a wall of smoke. Yeah. Just one to obscure the angle from Garage. And they relied on the fast play to get them where they wanted to be. So. I uh, I feel for preparation because it seems that tricks are the ones who are prepared in this occasion. That's their map after all. And they are surrounding the B bomb site. They've got players in control. Players below in the door. Maeve with some question asking. Arch going to rotate, but uh, importantly, there are no Molotovs for tricks. So how do they breach? Flashes. Some smokes coming in. They are limiting the positions where the CTs can defend from. I like this. And maybe preparation doesn't have to deal with this. Two frags coming in for them, though. Patron, it's going to be very important. The safe plant comes in. Nico, is he willing to speak in the situation? 
Now it's Patron. He's going to switch out the <laughs> AWP for a USP. I got this, guys. Maybe a bad idea, and he yeah. realizes that. Uh, I don't know what he can do in this situation. Well, he could still clutch it. He's got a defuse kit as well. Spots another player there behind the uh, safe plant position. And Maeve will be the bait man. I don't see anything in control, but it is uh, control I, where Easy Tag will get the kills from. Yeah, I, I don't know why he goes for the play there. I mean, I, okay, you can you can always think, okay, maybe they're going to mess it up. But they, they literally do not have to peek and they win the round. By just by actually being AFK, they win the round there. So, so all he can, all he can do is there is not even a best case really. Maybe like get one frag, but always lose the AWP. And having an AWP in this round would be would be quite helpful, I think. So, that's a shame. But that said, he did pick up a, U a UMP. So UMP. So <laughs> I don't know. Don't know about the decision making there. <laughs> <laughs> that's, just, that's just when you're S out of luck, man. Yeah, exactly. Like, right, I've got this weapon. Oh, it's the UMP. Ooh. Sit down, Hunden. They can't really afford to... to uh, well, they can't really defend the, the bomb down position preparation Prep. in this scenario. They need to uh, just try to use the man advantage elsewhere. And Maeve, okay, he has a read as to the position of Jumka. Maybe expecting it with the low utility and through the smoke. Nico will go. Two plays left. And now it might be a question of damage for preparation, what they can do. And in, uh, uh, sorry, for tricks on preparation. And it seems preparation have lots of holes in their defensive game at the moment. So. I think in some in some ways it feels uh, inevitable that they will lose the map. Well, yes, but so it's like a, a slow death in that sense, a slow hell. Either or, they could even lose it now. It seems Tricks have been drilling this map just as we saw from Echo Fox. Is it going to pay off for them? They're down to two versus two now. Uh, Fifteen three, I would say. Dare say it's been paying off. Jim Kerr. He, he wants to go for this peak. He's waiting for his teammate so he can coordinate it. Yubik, though, he needs a distraction. Oh, that's a pretty good distraction. Yugi, though, oh, no, he's the last guy left. That's not what you want. He's, he's got the wall banks for days. Is he <laughs> he's not going to fall for it. That's hilarious. Nice. Let's, well, how about if I open this door? <laughs> how, about, how about now? <laughs> how about now? <laughs> you can't the bomb now. I'm going to open this door. And I, I love those moments because like, you look like a complete idiot because you're just opening a door whilst he's winning the round. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> open, close, open, close. He wins the round. The door is squeaky. This is a squeaky door. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe only extending the inevitable. I think it's reasonable to put the victory past uh, preparation on this occasion. Maeve down to the Tech 9, Hunden down to the Tech 9. Fast play may be in order, although it's weird because they've got the AWP as well. So, it, but even even then, I would even with a fast play, I think you want Yugi on the AWP regardless of your your plans. He has been delivering for his team constantly. I'm curious now if those bumps in the door only go in one direction, and I'm going to test it after this map on my laptop because it matters. Hashtag door bumps matter. Tricks moving outside while these shenanigans happen towards the squeaky door. And that is a proper wall of smoke coming in from the Danish side. Patron still has angles over towards the squeaky door and they will work out for him. Spots Hunden on the high Ooh. ground. Nice headshots. Man, we got smoke kills for days and I love it. Every, every day of the week. All the days. My goodness. All right, well. I mean, Tricks are still on. They got some positioning out of this. And Yugi is also still alive with Nork. So it's always going to be possible. And there's no doors. Oh, there is actually doors. And he's on 1 HP now. Wow. Pretty sick catch there by Istag. And Tricks are actually in a decent position here. Especially if Yugi hits that first shot as those two players approach. If there's no grenade. There are there are flashes. They have flashes, actually. There's fire as well. Yugi gets forced out of the position. But Nico holds down his uh, control room spot and that is going to be problematic the defuse comes in will bang comes in and that's going to be surely the round at this point you beak he's got no time to get back to the bomb he's going to make the cross against two players he's going to try to do it there's not much else to do but to do it and he gets trolled boom there it is 16 to 4 and tricked it was a one team show
the entire time, I think, on this map. I mean, what do you, what do you really say about, about that? There's not much to say other than Tricked had a good performance, but the, the thing is, uh, we can't say how good Tricked are because their opponents are clearly not good at the, at the map. Yeah. So they can look better, at, they can be inflated. They can look better than they appear. They can appear better than they are. That's what I meant to say. So uh, great performance from Trick. Not much to say about that map really other than they dominated it from start to finish. Yeah, and the interesting thing for Trick is that because of the 2-0 there, they get three points. If they win the next two maps, which come up against Gambit, which is pos quite possible, then they actually, I think, could potentially get the qualification spot. Because, because Na'Vi uh, dropped out in last season, we have just uh, one best of five essentially, which is reserved for the team that's second in these qualifiers. So they might, if, they, if they're able to do that, they might just get the first spot over Heroic, over Godsent, straight into League. That which, is. Which should be, <laughs> be insane. That is really interesting. That'd be well, insane. Let's find out if they can do it oh. after the break. See you back here shortly.